Only essential services should remain open, such as fire, police, transit, and health ser care services, in addition to businesses that provide food, shelter, or social services for disadvantaged populations. Non-essential non services, such as beauty shops, barber shops, nail, tanning, waxing salon, should close until further notice. Only essential businesses should remain open, such as pharmacies, grocery stores, drug and convenience stores, banks and financial institutions, hardware stores, and gas stations. All gatherings should be postponed or canceled. This is not the time for sleepovers, play dates, concerts, theater outings, or athletic events. Although you might not be experiencing symptoms at this time, you may be contagious. Do not risk your health or the health of others. Many of you will not be in your office or at work over the next few weeks. This is not a vacation, and it's not a time to catch up with friends. It's definitely not the time to go to the movies. Every social contact increases your risk of exposure. The bigger the group, the higher the risk. This means that you should stay away from auditoriums, stadiums, arenas, large conference rooms, meeting halls, and cafeterias. I know in time of stress, many of you like to seek the release that comes from the fitness center. Until this risk goes away, find other ways to exercise, such as at-home workouts, hikes, or other outdoor activities. But as you do so, remember to maintain social distancing from others doing the same. Some events are unavoidable. We want you to experience the joy of weddings. But this is not the time to bring your friends together, especially if this will require travel. Consider postponing the celebration to a time when risk is low or eliminated. For my friends making preparations to say goodbye to loved ones, please limit the attendance at funeral services. Consider outdoor services or the risk of exposure is less than inside. This is only common sense. At a time when people are getting sick from simply being near others, is not the time for gyms to remain, well, remain open. This is not the time for casinos to remain open. This is not the time for community recreation centers, clubhouses, movie theaters, and malls to remain open. If your business brings groups of people together, it should not be open. Although I cannot and will not say that places of worship should be closed, I strongly urge our faith leaders to find ways to deliver to your congregation without bringing them together in person. Charitable food distribution sites, including the meals being distributed to our students in the wake of the school closings, along with grocery stores, should remain fully open and operational. Food services for health care facilities and other essential facilities should remain open. Any buffet or food station used in charitable food distribution settings should be transitioned to box meals or served through glove staff members or volunteers. And I ask grocery stores to consider setting aside shopping hours for our most vulnerable population and our seniors. Restaurants throughout Nevada, in addition to pubs, wineries, bars, and breweries that include meals provided by a full kitchen, should be reduced to serving food only in a drive-through, takeout at the curb, or delivery capacities. No dine-in food establishments sh should be allowed until further notice. This also includes food courts, coffee shops, catered events, clubs, bowling alleys, and other similar venues which people congregate for the consumption of food or beverages. Pubs, wineries, bars, and breweries that do not include meals provided by a full kitchen must close. To summarize, I'm telling non-essential businesses you have two choices. Find a way to service your customers through delivery, drive-through, curbside pickup, or front door service, or close your doors. These COVID-19 risk mitigation members will be fully effective as of noon tomorrow. In addition, today in consultation with Gaming Board Chair Sandra Douglas Morgan, I announced that all gaming machines, devices, table games, and any equipment related gaming activity will be shut down effective midnight tonight. Restaurants and bars located within gaming properties will be subject to the same restrictions as those outlined above. Finally, we will ensure that there is as little as disruption as possible to transportation and the supply chain in Nevada during this time. Truck stops, 
and truck service centers will remain open so that motor carriers will be able to deliver supplies as needed. I know there will, come some, there will be some who will disagree with my decision, some who will think this is an overreaction. I want you to know I have spent countless hours working with medical experts, the White House, the CDC, labor and industry leaders, and I fully believe that this is an appropriate and informed reaction.